A spider! <laughs> Relax everyone, I'm not a spider, but I play one on TV. And she's made her home on Sherry's houseplant. Ugh. But I guess spiders can live almost anywhere. Except places that are too cold, too wet, or really high up. Sherry was not thrilled about this situation because she was afraid of spiders. I don't know what she's afraid of. Sherry had just put her plant outside on the porch to get some sun. Which is when Legatron moved in. Get it? Legatron? Like, legs? Okay, okay, that's not really the spider's name, but I gotta call her something. At first, Sherry didn't even notice her new guest. Until one day, she saw the web, and webs met spiders. And spiders kind of freaked her out. Maybe she could move the spider somewhere else. Somewhere not in her plan. But the spider had already built a web. And she was just a little spider. Like this spell yay big by yay wide. So Sherry decided Legatron could stay. For now. After a while, Sherry realized that Legatron wasn't so scary after all. She kind of liked having a spider friend. There she is. And watching her do spider stuff. You haven't seen in a while. Soon, Sherry stopped being afraid of spiders at all. But one day, she couldn't find Legatron anywhere. Maybe she moved back to the wild. Sherry was sad, but she knew it would probably be the best thing for Legatron. Plus, it was getting cold outside, and Sherry needed to bring her plant back into the house. Little did she know, she was bringing something else inside. Or, should I say, someone. Dun, dun, dun! Because a few days later, there was a new spider web in her plant. And all around her window. Whoa! Legatron was still in there. But that wasn't the only surprise. Because a few weeks later, Sherry started seeing little black dots everywhere. They were itty bitty spiders. Even smaller than Legatron. Wow, those are all babies. Legatron was a mom. But soon, there was a problem. Look at them all. There were way too many babies for Legatron to feed while she was still indoors. They needed to be outside, but now it was winter. And remember, cold weather is bad news for spiders. And there was a bigger problem. The baby spiders weren't staying in Sherry's plant. They were crawling all over the house. Luckily, Sherry was there to give her helping leg, or Hand. I guess you humans have hands. And after consulting with some spider experts, Sherry knew exactly what to do. She collected all the babies. Get in there, spider. And put them in their own little cup with a lid. The first day, she rounded up 14 of them. And by the next day, she had 19, then 24, then 30. That must be all of them, right? What? There's more? We're almost up to 100 babies. We have 96, and there are two more that I will be catching soon. It's a lot of babies. Excuse me? 98 spiders? And Sherry still found one more after that. By the time she found them all, she had 99 baby spiders. Which is, you know, a lot. Sherry made sure to feed them and give them water every single day. Until the weather got warm enough that she could release them into the wild. You're free, baby. Bye, baby spiders. Have a good life. But not all the spiders went back to the wild because Legatron decided to make Sherry's houseplant her forever home. And they still see each other every single day. 100 spiders? That's the most animals I've seen one person rescue. Oh, hey, Leela. That's a great costume. Thanks, Roman. Hoot's ready for another animal rescue. Check this one out. Look, a great horned owl. I hope she likes my outfit. Hey, hang on, owls are usually asleep during the day. So what is she doing awake? <gasps> She's tangled up in fishing line. It keeps her from flying or even walking. But wildlife rescuers are here to help. They have to be careful not to scare. <gasps> Quick, hurry, get her out of there. She could drown. Yes, one of the rescuers is gonna try and get her out. I know, I know, I know. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 
The owl's safe, but she's still tangled up. And she's really scared. She's like, who are these people? And why can't I move my wings? Now it's time to get all that fishing line off. They need to be gentle so they don't pull the line tighter or get pecked. The rescuers are going to have to cut and cut and cut some more. Even though she's scared, I think this owl knows they're trying to help because she's staying really still. You're doing great, owl. Hang in there. I've never had to untangle fishing line before, but it looks really hard. I mean, it's invisible and it must be cutting into her feathers and her skin. It looks like they're almost done. Oh no, a really tight piece is still wrapped around her leg. Ouch. And even worse, it looks like her wing is caught in that mess too. They have to work extra slowly now so they don't accidentally cut her wings. It takes a while, but the owl is finally free. But they can't just stick her back in a tree. The rescuers need to take her to their wildlife rehab center. They have to make sure that she's okay before letting her go back to the wild. The owl was a little annoyed to find that out. I think she's trying to tell him that she's doing just fine. She's like, you want me to stand? Easy, done, let's go. But what about flying? And she's making it look easy. I think she's feeling like her old self which means she's finally ready to go back home to the wild. Hey guys, it is release day for this great horned owl. We found it just right over there, tied up in fishing line, and now she's ready to be released back out in the wild. Are you ready? And off she goes. Fly home, owl. Whew, this rescue was a lot scarier than I thought it was going to be. But thanks to these brave rescuers, this owl is happy and free. Still, I think the next rescue needs to be non-scary. <gasps> Roman, can I borrow your spider costume? Whoa, look at that big hairy spider. No, not me, him. He's actually kind of cute. I think I'm gonna call him Lily the Wolf Spider. But something's not right. He's all curled up in a ball, and his legs are all tangled up in some type of garbage. He won't be able to climb with all that stuff on his legs, or catch food. Wait, it looks like we've got ourselves a spider rescuer. I think they're trying to untangle him. Be careful. Did they just pull off a worm? What was that junk? Whew, this spider is a mess, but this rescuer is not going to give up. Oh, the rescuer got some more of the stuff off. Wait, Willie, come back. Now where did you go? Oh, there you are. This will go a lot quicker if you just stay still. Hey, come back here. He can't climb, but he can still run. Now the rescuer is going to try from another angle. Oh, they're pinning the gunk down so the spider can pull himself free. That's pretty smart. It's better to let the spider do the pulling. If the rescuer did the pulling, they might accidentally pull off a leg, which would not be good. If Willie loses a leg, and it might be harder, a lot harder to catch some food. You can do it, Willie. Yes! That's another leg free. But the spider crawled away again. Whatever that stuff is, it must be pretty sticky. <gasps> what are you doing? Just stay still. <gasps> They're capturing the spider in a cup. Now that I think about it, that probably should have been the first step. Now they're moving him into a box where he can't run away. This is getting serious. I feel like I'm watching that game where you operate on people. But spiders don't have fanny bones, or any bones actually. Willie is not making this easy. All right, let's try this again. Yes, got some. <sighs> Ugh. 
I think spiders have three modes and three modes only. Cute, sassy, and vicious. Willie is in the middle of being sassy and vicious. <laughs> oh, just a little bit more. Yes, they did it. Willie must be so relieved. Now the rescuer is giving him some water. I didn't know spiders needed to drink water. He's using his feelers to scoop up the water. That's pretty neat. Drink up, Willie. You earned it. He's just like, okay, rescue's done. You can just put me outside now. So the rescuer did. Remember, if you see a spider or any other animal in trouble, do not try to rescue them by yourself. Ask an adult family member for help. <laughs> Like and subscribe for more.